So month two, five dollar game collection, and you can see the game collection has gotten uh, very dusty, very ruined, and our money looks like it's been through a a river bank. Look at how dusty everything is. Um, reason being is the game room finally got the new flooring I've been talking about for uh, years, so that is really cool news. Um, part of the reason I downsized a bunch of stuff was to clear out the room in here. And so yeah, some really cool flooring. Uh, and then this will go back onto its proper bookshelf. But anyway, we got 18 bucks here. And I got an offer up find uh, lined up. So let's head out and get that right now. What is going on YouTube? Uh, White here. Once again with a molestash. Kind of a staple of the month of November. Uh, no shave November. Molestash. And month two, I guess we'll call it. $5 game hunt. Uh, I got $5 on me right now, it's the crack of dawn, and I got this nice offer up find, I'll show you guys a screen cap of that right now, um, obviously a pretty good deal at 10 bucks and a staple of the N64 collection, uh, so I'm heading out right now at the crack of dawn to meet this guy, he's kind of right down the road from me, which is nice, um, and we'll hop into the pickup video right now and check out the condition. All right, so let's jump into this offer up find. Um, the more money I get, the more I can kind of snipe these individual games on off offer up, which is gonna help build the collection uh, really quickly. And for 10 bucks, couldn't pass this one up. Uh, Super Mario 64. Uh, looks like someone's been smoking heroin on top of it. But uh, that being said, 10 bucks for this game right now is fantastic in today's market. This will be probably replacing Super Mario Galaxy on the bookshelf even though it's kind of dreadful condition it does work but uh, I'd rather have an N64 game than a Wii game in the collection to be honest so I'll probably keep this on the bookshelf and uh, sell Mario Galaxy uh, for about 10 bucks to get to get us back to about $18 for the yard sales so um, not bad though first N64 game and at 10 bucks like I said you can't pass this up. Uh, one of the best platformers of all time. Definitely one of the biggest pioneers of all time. Uh, I'll be adding this to the bookshelf until I get a better condition copy. So jumping into our first sell of the month, uh, Super Mario Galaxy did have to go over Mario 64 and uh, it did get us our $10 back. And a quick note, based off of a ton of complaints I got for last week's video, or last month's video rather, I'll be deducting shipping from now on after this game. I already added $10 for this game, but everything from now on I'll be deducting shipping um, if I do free shipping. I will still be ignoring PayPal fees and eBay fees, which I know is kind of cheating, but uh, shipping is it's a little it's a little too high to skip. So um, I'll be adding 10 bucks here, and then in the future I'll let you guys know what shipping was and I'll subtract that. What's up, YouTube? Uh... Garage sale Saturday, once again, mid-November, uh, missed last week because of a wedding that was, um, it was the night of, but I, I don't know, I missed last week because of no reason, uh, the wedding was later on the day, so I could have gone, I guess. This week, Fana is at, in San Diego for something, for a second time in like three months, I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go to a few garage sales. The spy cam is in Fana's car, so I'll probably just try to film a little bit with my phone and then uh, let you guys know kind of when and where I get stuff. Um, once again, $18, kind of the theme. Uh, we've been stuck at 18 bucks for a week now or so. So hopefully we can get some stuff to add on the bookshelves for cheap and hopefully we can get a few things to resell. I'd like to get up to $50, $60 um, so that I can start buying big lots on OfferUp and Craigslist because 18 bucks. Aside from that Mario 64, um, you're not going to find a ton of great deals that cheap. Your great deals come in bulk. They come in mass quantity. So uh, I'd love to get up to, like I said, 50, 60 bucks so I can start to actually play ball on some stuff. But uh, let's hopefully we can get some couple dollar fines here at the garage sales. Yeah, it's a happy move. And, um, you know, uh, oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to so you guys saw footage uh 
this garage sale right here furniture and a bunk bed or whatnot as the sun is just beaming um ended up getting actually quite a few things off camera i filmed that box while the kid ran in to get a few more items um first thing he got was okami we'll show you the condition and everything in a minute at the pickup video uh second thing he got was a game boy advance with a donkey kong country game again i'll show you guys that right now in the pickup video uh after we get a few more finds hopefully but uh, 10 bucks for the whole lot, so that is a really good deal. Um, Okami is about a $20 game on PS2. I played a lot. I played a lot on Wii, but um, it's good value at at 10 bucks for that Game Boy Advance, Donkey Kong Country 2, and Okami. That's a really good find. Basically, three dollars a piece for those items. Um, we'll get to the pickup video. Hopefully, we find a few more items before we do that. So let's jump into the yard sale finds. Um, admittedly, not having Fanta and not having the spy cam uh, took the lead right out of my pipe. I only went to about four garage sales. Uh, that did sound really gay, by the way. Not in a gay way. Uh, I went to four garage sales and I got a pretty nice find actually at one of them. So I consider it a really good morning because I only wasted about 25 minutes of free time. Uh, again, no spy cam and no scout. Yard selling just doesn't have the same... Uh, motivation for me but anyway the first thing I saw at this guy's garage sale was a box of games and I saw this case case only no game in it uh, I asked the kid what he was looking for and he said five bucks for this game and I said cool can you go find it uh, so he ran inside found the disc unfortunately no instruction booklet and this is some sort of shitty third-party case the disc is in lovely shape uh, not mint but pretty good very good I would call it um, and this is one of the best, visually, one of my favorite games of all time. I've played it a ton on the Wii. I've never actually played the original, which is this one on PS2. Uh, but the Wii version, the visuals are just stunning. The cell shaded uh, re reminds me of like ancient Japan a lot. Uh, and I think that, I believe that's where it took place, somewhere in Asia. Uh, but an awesome game. You just can't, can't not have it. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to keep it because of this case and it's not complete. Uh, I might maybe keep the disc and try to do some sort of eBay trade for the case. Uh, I haven't decided exactly. But as you can see, $20 game at Bookman's recently. It's still a $20 game all day long. Uh, people love this game, including myself. Um, I'll get to the price in a minute. So something else he came out with a few minutes later. Um, a Game Boy Advance. Atomic Purple? No, it's not quite. I don't know what we'll call this one. I remember this came out when the system came out. This color was like the first one available to buy. Uh, screen is okay. No huge defects. Front of the system, decent. Buttons and everything have good uh, retention. The problem here is the back. We can see a shitty third-party battery cover and then likely corroded Costco batteries. Uh, it, the system is dead right now. I have not tested it yet. But... Um, I definitely would rather have this thing than nothing, however I wish he could have gotten the actual color of the system instead of this obnoxious bright orange color. Um, I'll probably be selling this. I love Game Boy Advance SP and I'm not a huge fan of the original Game Boy Advance. Obviously no backlight is a huge fault, it's a huge problem. But a uh, decent condition, probably get 15 bucks or so on eBay, um, maybe 20 if I'm lucky. Uh, but happily with the Game Boy. Donkey Kong Country 2, and I actually, I'm kind of a sucker for these direct Super Nintendo ports that went on the Game Boy Advance. I remember in 2002 or whenever the Game Boy Advance came out playing these for the first time and I was like, holy crap, I'm playing Super Nintendo games handheld. Uh, obviously we've come a long way since then, but still really cool to turn these on. Uh, practical to turn it on and play it sometimes instead of having to set up the whole system in the living room or whatever. Uh, and practical financially, I think I'll keep this. I think I will. But if I wanted to sell it, I'd definitely get anywhere between 10 to 20 bucks. Um, these games always hold their value. Uh, it's a Donkey Kong Country game. Anything with Mario or Donkey Kong, uh, anything from the Super Nintendo essentially, will hold its value nicely on the Game Boy Advance. But I might just keep this. Um, in fact, I believe I have an empty box of this exact game, but I won't add that to the collection. That would be kind of cheating. Uh, I want this collection to just be from five bucks. Uh, nothing I started with after. So let's continue the hunt. 
or get to the pickup recap, one or the other. But really good day garage selling. Um, ten bucks, by the way, is the price he came out with. He wanted ten bucks for this and the game, and I said, well, I'll give you ten bucks if you can throw on Okami, uh, which puts us down to eight dollars cash. So obviously, we're gonna have to sell a few things to get back into a decent amount of money. Eight dollars is not gonna buy anything on Offer Up or Craigslist ever. Uh, so let's sell some stuff and let's get up to the hunt continued. So we had a really quick sell uh, overnight essentially. The Game Boy with the fake crappy battery cover uh, sold $22.50 and I did that on purpose knowing that shipping was going to be exactly $2.50. So we'll go ahead and add 20 bucks to the game hunting money and uh, get back out there. So uh, another garage sale day, another day without Fanta sadly which also means another day without the spy cam um as my car tells me to put a seatbelt on i i hate the cars do that now like going from one garage sale to another uh happily there is a community cell going on as a really hot chick going by with no clothes on. awesome uh community cell going on which kind of unseasonal for mid-november Almost all of our community sales are in October or April. Uh, that's why that's kind of our best months. So this time of year is bizarre. Um, we have an obnoxious bike race taking up all of Tucson right now. So Fanta probably picked a good week to not come out. But this community sale was a real pleasant surprise. Um, so if nothing else, it'll be 10 to 15 sales I can stop at. Um, I apologize for the beeping again. And that's better than the last few weeks where I literally stopped at like three or four. Like last week, I think I stopped at four. Uh, so I was lucky to get a find. So we'll see if we can get anything out of this community cell. Um, it is a little bit more of what I would classify as a retirement neighborhood. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so right at that house, right yonder, uh, Kingdom Hearts Recoded. A game I can honestly say I've never seen in the wild. We see that 385 and a half or whatever, and uh, Dream Drop Distance from time to time, but I've never seen this game. Definitely not at a garage sale anyway. So, uh, cool find. Uh, two bucks for a really nice, pretty much brand new condition. It looks like she's never even played it. So, um, good start to the day. Good start to the community sale at least. So, uh, kind of a funny story. We'll drive by the house right now still at the community cell um so i go up to this guy he's got like speakers and stuff we'll drive by a cell right now on the left you guys can see he had like dj equipment and like a, a king size bed uh bed end and and the stuff that go you put a bed on i don't know what it's called exactly the baseboards and whatnot uh and he says he has xbox games and pc games so he runs in and brings out this stack of games um so we're still doing that, by the way. So he runs in, uh, brings out the stack of games, and as he's walking out, some other person at the garage sale grabs the stack of games from him. Um, and, you know, the first thing I see, I see Battlefield. I see Halo Reach. I see it's kind of like 360. I, I don't want to call them shovelware, but... First person shooter games, which don't retain really any value, uh, and for the most part, they come, they everyone buys them, and then they're just kind of worthless years later. Uh, Battlefield 3 on 360, um, Halo 2 was in there, and then there's also one other Xbox game. So, of course, the uh, the guy that doesn't know what he's doing that beat me to the games, uh, sets them down. Um, and as soon as he sat this one down, I immediately picked it up, uh, Asked the guy hosting the cell how much he wanted for it, and once again he wanted two dollars. Uh, so for two bucks I got Alien vs Predator Extinction, um, which is an awesome game. I'll show you guys some gameplay footage of it. Uh, Alien vs Predator is a really, I guess I'll call it collectible franchise. Both of those have diehard fans, and uh, I knew immediately upon seeing this game it was quite a valuable game. And um, I haven't looked it up on eBay, but I'm pretty sure it's north of twenty bucks, maybe even close to thirty. Uh, last I checked which was a couple years ago so good luck two finds and like three sells so we'll keep going and see uh, if we can get some more stuff keep this day rolling 
All right, guys, so it ended up being a, uh, a really good day, uh, except for the fact that I just ran out of money. Um, I just spent, let's see, so I'd spent $4, and then I just spent 23 So right now I'm down to $1 left, so I'm going to hit the road. I'm not going to mess around with $1, $1 cash, uh, although it's possible, but if someone goes into their house, um, they're not going to sell me something for $1. Maybe if it was out at the sale... Uh, this is the cell where I got everything at right here. In that garage with the basketball hoop. Uh, everything I'm about to show you guys. Um, started off kind of like a young daughter ran in and got... I mentioned video games, of course, and she ran in and got um, Mario Kart DS. Uh, cart only. And I asked what she wanted for it, and she said $2. Uh, she doesn't even have the system anymore, so... Of course I did two dollars on that it's not a valuable game as far as Mario Kart games go but at two bucks uh, for kind of a triple-a title yes I wish it was complete because loose card DS games are annoying but um I'll take that but then the brother went in uh, and he's where things got nice he went in and started finding uh, Wii games and DS games uh, and he brought them out some of them were shovelware for sure but a couple of them were really really nice uh, we settled on $21 for three games. Again, when someone goes into the house to get an item, you're usually not going to get your best deals on it because they they went out of their way to get something for you. So they're not going to, it's not going to be 50 cents in a pile, if that makes sense. It's going to be like, they're going to want some cash for it. Uh, so for 21 bucks, we got, and I'll show you these, I'll show you guys these in detail in the pickup video. Uh, Super Paper Mario on Wii. Disney's Magic Mirror, uh, Mickey Mouse's Magic Mirror, which is a GameCube only, which is cool. Uh, and then the the breadwinner here, Pokemon Battle Revolution, uh, seven dollars a piece. Definitely worth it for Pokemon. Uh, definitely worth it for the Paper Mario game. And then I don't know the Mickey Mouse game. It's a GameCube only game, so I love putting those in my collection. Most of the time they're worth quite a bit, but um. This one's not, but for GameCube only, it's gonna go in the collection. Uh, I just love seeing that. I love GameCube exclusives. Uh, so that's it. Two community sales. I don't know if I told you guys, but I went to one across the street. It looks like that. And uh, Dortmund plays Bayern in about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna rush home and check that game out. Um, good day, though. Really good day to go out and spend all $27 on probably $100 worth of games. We'll do the pickup recap, and then I'll talk to you guys about what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to sell. I have no idea at this moment in time, so uh, let's jump into that pickup recap. What is going on, lads? It's a beautiful morning, and it was a beautiful morning garage selling. The only bad news is I now have $1 left, which is uh, simply not good enough. Uh, I'm going to have to sell some stuff. A dollar will literally only work game hunting at garage sales. Uh, I can't even get anything at Goodwill. Certainly not on Craigslist. Maybe on eBay. I could get a crappy item. I don't know. But uh, let's get into the garage sale finds, what I paid for everything, and kind of an in-depth look at the condition. Uh, the first find of the day at the community sale, a Kingdom Hearts game for $2. One, honestly, I have not seen for a very long time. Um, Recoded. I don't know anything about it. I do know it is a 3DS game, or a DS game, rather. And it is complete and in really nice condition. And it's a notable franchise that I've played a lot of. Admittedly on the PS2 only though. Never on the Game Boy Advance. I never played that one. Uh, I think I played, you know what, I played the Game Boy Advance one with the, uh, with the where you could use like playing cards as moves. It was, it was okay. But uh, this game is minty. I can tell that the person that owned it literally never played it. They probably played it for an hour and then put it back in the box. Never to be played again, so... Minty Kingdom Heart game. This will be added to the collection. Probably not worth selling. Only about a ten dollar game. But again, at two dollars, definitely a good uh, good buy. It's probably my favorite find of the day because the scalper uh, undercut me and almost almost took it, but he didn't. He wasn't smart enough to, and I ended up with the only good game of the lot. I was pretty mad that he literally stole. The find, as I said, I asked the guy to go in and get games, and he came out with the games. I was at the front of the cell, and this guy was in the garage, the scalper, and he grabbed the stack 
uh, right out from under me. Started going through stuff, but he did leave this one behind. Really excited to see it. Aliens vs. Predator Extinction. A RTS Aliens vs. Predator game, and I think I told you guys in the car I had played this before. That was a lie. I have not played it, but I have watched quite a bit of gameplay footage of it, and the disc is in awesome shape. A little grimy, but... Yeah, condition-wise, lovely. Um, I watched a gameplay back in probably 2011. One of the big Let's Players, and I watched three or four episodes of it. It looks like a really cool game. It reminds me a lot of uh, StarCraft. But a uh, really big franchise. Very valuable game. Easily a $25 to $30 game. So for two bucks, this was a big buy. I would 100% keep it if it was complete, but... I might end up selling it. I'm not a huge fan of non-complete games. I have not decided. Honestly, there's only one game I know for sure I'm selling. Everything else is up in the air at this point. Getting to the next find. I found all this, the next stuff at one sell. For two bucks, Mario Kart DS uh, was never going to be played again by this person. Not complete. Again, if it was complete, I would keep it. Since it is not complete, it will be resell bait. Hopefully, could get ten bucks after shipping for this item. I mentioned how I'm not doing sh shipping is no longer going to be a free pass. eBay and PayPal fees will be, but shipping won't be. I wish it, this thing would focus. That'd be great. But a fun game, not valuable by any means. Like, like I said, I'm hoping to get ten bucks for it on two dollars spent. It's a good buy any day of the week, especially with Mario in the title. Speaking of Mario and the title, uh, the next three games I bought for $7 each. It was one of those things where I overpaid on maybe one or two of the games to get the better game at that price, if that makes sense. I bundled everything for $21. If you want to, you can look at it like I spent $15 on one game and $6 on the other two. However you want to look at it, but one of the games I got for $7, Super Paper Mario. Complete. This will probably be added to the collection because I love complete inbox Nintendo games like this. Condition. Decent, not great. Not perfect by any means, but not bad. No significant wear, no significant scratches. Complete, and the case is in nice, shiny condition. It is a Nintendo Selects, which is too bad. Although I don't recall ever seeing this game in any form besides Nintendo Selects. Maybe it only came out as a Nintendo Select. Uh, because it was, I don't know if it's a remake of a GameCube game or something. Fancy got it once, I remember. Uh, Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse. Not a day one buy. But it is a complete inbox GameCube game that is a only four GameCube game. And once again, the condition is terrible. He promised me it worked. He said he played it very recently. It might have been a nice sales pitch or he might be telling the truth. But a game I do not plan on selling anyway. And again, in only four GameCube games, so a decent enough find. $7, certainly overpaying at a garage sale, especially in this condition. I could get it probably mint condition for 10 bucks on eBay. But uh, it will go on the bookshelf as another GameCube game. And from a value standpoint, probably the most valuable game of the entire week. A really good find at $7. Pokemon Battle Revolution. Not complete, it just comes with this some sort of a competition or, or software registration thing. Disc, nice condition. I'd put it at good condition, not perfect, but not terrible. Again, with this lighting, you guys are seeing like every single flaw magnified, especially with this HD camera. But a uh, nice condition and a very valuable game and a very well, I should say Pokemon Stadium was fun. I don't know if this is going to be as good. I've never played it. But it's the same concept as Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon Stadium. A console battle battle only game. And certainly very valuable. I know this copy's on eBay going for 30 bucks. The question this week is going to be what gets sold and what gets kept. Again, $1 is simply not good enough. It's not enough uh, to keep adding the collection. I could be a cheeky bastard. And um, go out to the garage sales with $1 and try to hit a home run. But garage sales are going to be slow. Thanksgiving's coming up. I'd rather get some money and hopefully make a few deals. Craigslist and OfferUp 
are ridiculous during the holiday season. I've, I've mentioned it before. People are desperate for money and they're getting rid of valuable stuff for very cheap. So you guys can jump on board that if you're smart and if you have a keen eye. Uh, that is it for this garage sale week. We'll get into what I sell and how the collection looks coming up next. So once again, eBay to the rescue. Uh, we were down to $1, but within a couple of days of each other, Okami sold from last week, uh, 1750 which gives us about $15 in the game hunting collection. And then Mario Kart DS sold, as usual, overnight for $10. Uh, subtract a dollar for shipping, so that gives us about 9 So that puts our grand total game hunting cash at $25. Um, not where I want to be after two months, but the collection is looking nice. We will jump into the collection as it stands right now. All right, let's take a quick look at the collection. Uh, at the end of the month of November, two entire calendar months in, and things are, it's not looking like a collection yet, but it's definitely looking like more than just three games like last week. Um, and a bit of variety. Yes, they're all Nintendo games still pretty much, but at least they're different systems uh, and different kind of eras, if you will. And then... The three really nice games we got at the end of this last week. Uh, I didn't even list Alien vs Predator. I think I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm sad Okami went. If it was in a good case, I would have kept that in a heartbeat because I absolutely love that game. But not complete and crappy case. I had to get rid of it. Uh, on top of this beautiful collection, we have $25 um, to go out with. Wow, one of those went on, this, on the bookshelf. I'm impressed. $24, $25 to go out with uh, on the next weekend with Fanta. December's going to be tough. It really is. If I was smart, I would sell something really quick and get a bunch of money because there's going to be Craigslist and offer up finds left and right. As far as yard sales, uh, I don't think December's going to be great. I really don't. But uh, hopefully we can get the spy cam going and hopefully we can get Fanta back. If you enjoy the series, leave a thumbs up. Uh, I mentioned this to Fanta, but if this video gets a thousand likes, we might just be inclined to uh, do a little giveaway. I'm not going to point out what we would be giving away, but we uh, we definitely have one extra item from Black Friday Chaos um, that apparently is notoriously difficult to find because it's notoriously difficult to find. I don't think Nintendo restocked it. I think it was literally a one day only thing. So uh, see if we can hit a thousand likes in the month of December before New Year's. And just maybe we'll do a little January 1st, New Year's 17 giveaway. Uh, thank you guys, as always, for watching. And I will be back again at the end of December. Fines pending with another video. Take care, everyone.